Hey guys, Ethan with Ethan's Sessions here. Uh, today I want to go over a, uh, a web browser. Um, it's a web browser that I've been using for about probably a month. Yeah, about a month. Um, and I really enjoy it. I think it's loaded with features. I think that the features it's loaded with are useful. They're not just um, uh, kind of things to draw you in that you don't really end up using. And that, of course, is the web browser known as Opera GX. Now, this perspective is going to be from somebody who just uses it on the daily, who's not really a heavy gamer, but enjoys to game and enjoys the aesthetic. Um, and uh, I thought that I would give this an honest uh, look, and we'll explore that together. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, when you open up this web browser, you're going to be greeted with what they call the speed dial. Speed dial is where all of your favorite websites live in harmony and where you can access them at one single click. You can also go to the second column down below and add websites that you visit frequently but for whatever reason have not added to your speed dial yet. As you can tell by mine, there's a very strong chance there's some more content coming that I think you might enjoy. Aside from that, you also have a built-in Facebook Messenger and Discord, and my personal favorite feature, the YouTube Music Player. This thing is incredible, because no matter what I am doing on the web, I'm able to listen to my Robin Gibb and do that at the same time, which I think is just absolutely amazing. Now, this wouldn't be a gaming web browser without a gaming feature, and that feature is the GX Corner. Mine, for some reason, was inoperable. I'm not sure if that was just a glitch having the screen recorded or not, but it does display news based off of um, what you enjoy. Now let's go ahead and try and search up my catchphrase to see if anybody loves me. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Now that my ego has been properly bruised, uh, let's go in and talk about the settings. This thing can be customized to be literally anything that you want. As you see, my Opera GX is tailored around the blue iMac that I use as a daily driver. And when I tell you that this thing has a lot of options, this thing has a lot of options. In fact, 99% of the stuff I do not mess with, I do not try to mess with it. The only thing that I use is the built-in VPN, which, by the way, is another very good feature that you should uh, keep in mind when downloading this browser. Um, it's got uh, conversion stuff, I guess, like money, um, it's, it's got uh, like some uh, pop-out stuff and some news which I don't really pay any attention to. Um, the point is that this is an extremely loaded browser when it comes to customization. Let's go ahead and back on out there. And as you can see, we are back on my um, speed dial. I went ahead and I just clicked the first site on my speed dial so we can take a look at it and see how it loads. My connection is a bit slow because I'm running on the VPN, but as you can see, it does load up everything just fine. Um, I really enjoy just looking at the Apple website. It's so much Zen to me, but anyway, um, let's exit out of that. And I do believe that that 
covers it. So what are my opinions on the Opera GX browser? Simply put, I love it. I mean, I didn't think that I would. In fact, for the longest time, I didn't download the browser just off of the principle. I, um, I thought, oh my god, I'm overloaded with ads. I'm not going to justify this by downloading the, the app itself that they're advertising. But ultimately, I think it was the best decision I've made when it comes to my web experience because it is so seamless and so easy to do everything that I do on a daily basis. From music listening to web browsing, YouTube video watching, uh, video researching for this channel, um, Opera GX just makes it so easy and doing it securely with a built-in VPN no less. So, I would highly recommend this browser, and that's regardless of if you're in the gaming community or not, because the features that this thing comes with are features that I have never seen any web browser before it build in, and I don't think that Safari or Edge or whatever um, are going to build anything like it into their future browsers, so there's not even a point. But uh, with all that being said, guys, my name has been Ethan with Ethan's Obsession, and I...